All right, gang. Welcome back to our Gator Challenge on Little Lands. Now, last episode, the very end of the episode, I was talking about these hot air balloons. Clearly, it's they're not always here because there's one there now. The other, that blue one was over here. They've clearly changed positions, so that is good to know. But that's still a really cool feature, I think. I think they're always here, or well, maybe they're not always here, but they just populate at certain time periods of the day because. The yellow one was over here, now it's over here, so it just moves throughout the day. Very, very cool. Never noticed them the first couple of episodes, so uh, <laughs> I'm doing these episodes back to back. You, you can't see me. I don't, I'm farming, vi farming videos. I don't really show my my camera, but uh, you, you get what I'm meaning anyway. So we've got three more premium potatoes ready to sell. There is a slight fluctu fluctuation. Uh, I did look at it. Here you go. 1598 to 1620. <laughs> There's no point to not sell them, no matter what it is. Currently, it's 1602, so not bad. Uh, kind of towards the end, the lower end there, but it's 20 bucks. I'm not really worried about 20 bucks. We also have, oh, quick save here. We also have a a a, uh, a crate of um, pig food, a thousand liters of pig food. We don't have any pigs yet. Uh, maybe I should look into getting pigs. I, I don't even know what pig food sells for. I I never ever sold pig food in my life, so. Um, I don't even know where it would be at. I mean, it's not gonna be up there. Mixed ration. Can I even sell pig food? That's the thing. Maybe I can't even sell it. Um. Do, 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 do. There's so much stuff in here. I have no idea. I'll tell you what. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move the premiums off there real quick. Let's pick up the... Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh, boy. Oh boy, that's a problem. I I have no way of being able to move this now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we better switch this out real quick. We better go ahead and just say selling on pig food for moving forward. I don't know how I'm gonna move that. That might be there for the rest of the series, gang. Uh oh boy. I really ooh ooh. I thought everything that would come out of here I'd be able to move, but I cannot move it. I'm hitting every button. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'm hitting literally every button I can. It's like bales. I don't have super strength on at all. Well, I really don't have the ability to do the, the crazy super strength that the PC players can do, but there is a mod that lets me pick up, you know, pallets and things like that, and bales specifically. Uh, but I can't pick that up. I, I don't have it on for this series. I can pick up these, which is good. So let's go sell these three premium potatoes. Give us another thousand bucks each, which is great, man. We'll give us, you know, about the five grand, which is pfft, really good. So our, our current... Uh, loan interest every month is almost $500. So if we're getting at least three of these pallets every month, which is what it seems like, we're okay. We're constantly going to be making money every month as long as we sell those. This this is going to be a problem. Uh, the only thing I can think of to do... I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to push it with the gator. Uh, there might be something I could attach to the back of the gator, like a fork or something. Like, you know, you would utilize in the back of, like, a tractor. Like, if your tractor didn't have the ability to do that. Oh, yeah, that ain't gonna work. Okay, well. Maybe if I go forward, maybe? maybe? You don't want to go too far into that crop. I'm feeling like that crop is ready to be at a point now where if I get into it, I'm going to damage it. Because I do have crop destruction on. I almost always have crop destruction on. That is something that I will almost always have on. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're, we can make this work. It's not perfect, but we can make this work. But the rest of the time, until we figure out if we're going to get pigs at some point, we're going to have... <laughs> we're going to have that on just selling. Even if we lose a little bit of money, then by holding, holding on to it. And honestly, I don't even know if this is going to sell in here. Yeah, I might not. Oh, it's selling. And it's selling for a high amount. We got it. <laughs> we got almost four and a half grand out of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. We're back up to almost ten grand now. This is... Oh, this is going really, really well. <laughs> really, really well. All right. So the things we have to accomplish today, we need to drill that field, spray that field, and we need to fertilize the field over there. So, 
We're going to do the fertilization first. That's something we have yet to do with the gator, so I want to try that out. And then uh, we'll drill and, and spray that field over there. And then from there, I don't know if there's going to be anything specific else we can do. We can look and see if there's anything with the not now the nine thousand dollars that we made that we could do. Um, I, I still would love to buy this plot, and, and, and if we sold some of the crop we have, we could we could buy it. So maybe we'll go over there after we're done and take a peek at that plot and just see what it looks like. Uh, like I said, it's going to be grass. I still have yet to find anything. As far as some kind of a, a real mower. I did do a little research between this and this last episode. I did say that I was doing these back to back. So if you guys have said anything in episode 3 about one that you saw. I have not seen it yet. Uh, a lot of the videos that I do unfortunately have to be kind of a, a back to back situation. Uh, just based off of my schedule. So uh, if you do have comments down there and for whatever reason you, 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 know, you would expect to see me answer them or reply to them in this episode uh, don't don't hold it against me too much it's just because I, uh, I I can't most of the time I cannot do uh, videos you know just before the day that they're released or a couple days before the release I normally have to you know load them up when I have the availability or the time to make a couple of them so not not a situation I've, I've said this before, but not a situation where I want any of you to feel bad for me. That's not that's not what I'm trying to... That's not my intent with that comment. My intent is just to, to tell you that I'm a, I'm a busy man. So sometimes I have to, you know, do what I can. And, and that means doing some multiple videos back to back. But anyways, I digress. This will not take long at all. This is fast. This is great. We're not using that much fertilizer. You can see we're already... Uh, we're already gone around a whole a whole pass here, and it, it's this is doing a really really good job. Honestly, this is better than I was expecting. It's not using that much. Uh, we probably I, I mentioned in the last episode we'll probably eventually start selling some of these you know gator attachments for other ones. I don't know if we'll ever get rid of this one. Maybe if we get a big enough field, but for this series, I don't really think that's that's going to be something that is going to be in play for us ever. Is having a massive field. Uh, we just we we just don't really have the money to do that nor do we have really the, the, the time and, and the, the attachments to be able to do that at least not currently so I probably won't even put a time lapse in here gang because this is going to be we'll be down here one more back and maybe one more down uh, it would be like a 13 to, to 25 second time lapse I know that's a really weird number to say but I just know how long most of the time it, it, you know time lapse will be based off of how long it takes and I've kind of been monitoring how long this this certain um, sp this spreading of the fertilizer has taken, it, and it's really not long. So it, it would be not even a full minute time lapse, and I I don't want to put a <laughs> less than a minute time lapse in. I just, it just doesn't. It's too much effort to put a minute time lapse in for for not a whole lot of a lot of gain. So we won't be doing that. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. But it seems like a lot of you are, are very interested in this series and have been enjoying it, and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all that have watched and have interacted with me. This is this is great. I, I was hoping that that would be the case. I was hoping it would kind of catch on a little bit. Um, it seems like it has. Uh, I hope Milk That Hen or, or anybody else that has kind of showed interest in it that does videos, I hope that one of you do this series. I would love to watch your series and see how you take this challenge on it's a uh, it's a very unique different challenge so I'm very excited to see uh, somebody else try to take it on and, and how they how they manage it so this should be the last pass here um, it looks like from what I can tell and we may miss something here I might have to look at the map but from what I can tell as far as our spraying goes, we did a really good job. I don't really see any specific weeds that are sticking out to me. I mean, there, yeah, I'm sure there's one in here and there that, you know, are kind of hidden. But I don't see anything that's really, like, to a point where I'm like, okay, I need to come back and, and hit that. You know, it's it's just a, it's such a small, minuscule amount that it doesn't even make a difference. 
All right, that should be it. So let's just take a peek at it. Let's see how we did. Oh, look how that, look at that. Yeah, there are a couple of spots, like I said, but that, I mean, what's the difference, right? What's the difference? I think what we're gonna do with some of this money uh, is we're gonna get a roller, gang. I think we're gonna get a roller. Uh, it'll be a small roller. It can't be. It can't be a big one. We we just don't have the money for it, and really, we, we shouldn't even consider doing a big roller with uh, with this gator. So probably within the thousand dollars or less range is really what we're looking at. This is definitely a challenge of very small equipment and implements, with the exception of our our pretty decent sized harvester. All right, that is done. That field is done. Very good. Every little bit we can get to help out on the field, it's going to matter as far as our incoming funds go. So that's why I'm saying I'll get a very cheap roller. We're going to need to buy some more seed and fertilizer. I don't think there's going to be enough in here to do it. I really don't. 11% fertilization. We could unload that and fill it up there, and we probably would have enough if we did that. You know what? We're going to. We're going to. I understand that's not ideal, but, I mean, we've got free fertilizer in there, so we may, may as well utilize it now that we're... I mean, we've got enough that we could buy some, but... When we start selling some of this crop, we should have a lot more, right? I'm just going to go up here and unload it. Perfect. That's good enough for me. I'm not going to fill any more of that. I'm going to leave the rest of it. We can fill it back into that. Because we're going to need it for the next episode whenever we fertilize now the the thing about the next episode is I may do that fertilization that I just talked about off camera I, I just I don't think the, that field right there that canola field I don't think it's gonna be ready next month which means we're not gonna have anything to do except for fertilizing this field and that would be a severely short episode we're talking <laughs> five minutes or less and that episode would be over I don't want to do that, so we may have to do what I was talking about and, and skipping through. The only way we wouldn't is what I said. We're going to check at the end of the episode. We're going to drive over to that one field over there, and we're going to take a peek at it. Um, it, it, it it's, if it's a grass field, so if we do buy it, we're going to waste the grass. We're going to drill it, and we're going to waste the grass. We have to get a cultivator or a plow to do it as well. So there's a couple of things we have to do to accomplish that goal. Not an easy thing. Uh, as far as a plow and a cultivator goes for this, it's it's not going to be easy. Good thing is you don't need a PTO to do that, but it, it's not it, it's not going to be a a sure fit thing. Like oh yeah, this is easy. We got this. No, it, it won't be that. It it'll be very difficult to pull that with this. It may not even be possible, which is a problem, right? If it's not possible, we can't even look at the grass fields at all. Can't even can't even consider them. Because it ain't going to work. I understand I'm going to waste a little bit here, but uh, I'm putting sorghum in here again. Which is fine. That's what I said I wanted to do. I said I wanted to do sorghum or oat. But I think I was, I think I was considering oat for here. But I ended up going with sorghum. Uh, sorghum, I think, is the fastest growing crop. And at this point, I want whatever is the fastest growing crop to get in here. Maybe a little repetitive for you, for you all. I understand that, but it's a repetitiveness I'm willing to take, just based off of the fact that it grows so fast, so we can sell it and, and start making money. Because we've got to get some more fields if we're really going to succeed in this series and pay off our loan of a hundred and forty something thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. A lot of money when we're only going to be making, you know. Per harvest around, well, for these small ones, we're not going to make anything. But for the big one, we'll probably make per harvest a, 
maybe 40 grand, 45 grand, maybe, if we're lucky, if it's best time, peak time. It's not a lot of money when we have $140,000 to pay off. So, that's why I'm saying I want to look at some of these other fields, because ideally, you know, we just buy more fields, and by buying, by buying more fields, we'll have more fields to harvest all the time, and, you know, just a waterfall effect of more money. If we just continue to stay on our fields, it's just going to be, you know, very repetitive, and, and it's going to take us a long time to pay off that amount. Hopefully, everything I'm saying makes sense to you. Hopefully, you agree with me. If you don't, you don't, but... So we'll go ahead and get this done, gang. I'll be back with you guys once we're done. And uh, what I'll probably do is when I'm back with you guys uh, off camera, once I stop the the time lapse of this, I'll take a look at that field and then uh, I'll just see what I want to do here. Try to figure out the next plan of attack here. No matter what, we're going to have to herbicide this field. So that's definitely object objective number two. But objective number three is looking at another field, specifically that one, where if we sell some of the actual crop we currently have, we could definitely get there. Definitely could get there. See you guys when it's done. All right, gang, so I found a mower, but it doesn't work. Well, when I say it doesn't work, it doesn't work if we mow it. I found this lizard GHC AV Avari, Avari, AV, AVARE, Avari. This looks like a real mower. It It is able to be pulled. Um, if I put it on a worker, I just tested it out. Random map, not this map at all. Just went out, tested it, or my, my test map, as I like to call it. Put it on put it on a worker and the worker mowed it no problem but if i buy this and i try to turn the mower on nothing will not do it no matter what happens so i think it's some kind of a glitch there where the worker doesn't realize it shouldn't be allowed to do it um and that's the only one i can find there's nothing else out there that does not require a pto so the only other option we have is to buy a john deere mower just a standard john deere mower and we can mow, whether it's a zero turn or if it's just a regular John Deere, you know, like mom and pop, living at home mower and utilizing it that way. What we could do with that, if we bought that, which I don't think it's really against the rules because my rules were, right, if, if the John Deere can't do it, then we're allowed to utilize it. Um, so we can get this lawn sweeper, which we could use. Or we could get the bag, I guess, if we got the, the zero turn. But we could get this if we got the mower. And we could utilize this in my in theory, in my eyes. I haven't tested it, but in my mind, because it's just an attachment, we could utilize this with the John Deere Gator. That's kind of where I'm currently at. I don't know for sure if that's going to work, so I think I'm going to go back out and test that, because I really don't want to buy something and waste our money if, if it's not going to work. Um... 
I'm kind of leaning honestly towards a zero turn. If we lead towards a zero turn, we don't have to worry about this at all. But I, I don't know. What do you guys? You guys think that's cheating? I don't know. Let's uh, let's spray this field, and then uh, let's let's. I'll think about it a little more. I'll I'll, I'll just kind of let it simmer for a little bit. I'll think about it. Um, I I really don't like I said the the goal was really that I had to use whatever I'm doing. I had to use a gator. With the exception of, like, harvesting, because there's no gator for harvesting. But a gator can't mow. So... I don't know. It's kind of like a loophole there, right? If I knew for sure Mick the Let Hen or, or somebody else was doing it, I could at least, you know, reconvene with them on, on what they believe should be real or should be allowed versus not. But since I'm recording this at the time that nobody else has done this challenge besides me... It's kind of my decision, right? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to think about that. Part of me thinks it is a little bit against the rules, but a part of me at the same time thinks it's not. I mean, we're utilizing a Massey Ferguson Harvester, which is not a John Deere, and we wouldn't be able to succeed in this challenge without that. I don't know. I just I don't know I don't I don't know what to what to what to do there so we're going to spray this field in the meantime while I think about it and uh, make my decision there gang I just I'm I, I can see both ways I could argue for both ways is what I'm trying to say if somebody came to me and said hey that's 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 going against the the rules that you're kind of cheating I'd be like yeah I guess you're right but if somebody also said to me I don't think it's cheating because the gator can't, he can't mow. So, I mean, you, you said the rules up front were if he can't mow, then you, you're fine to, to utilize it. Hmm. We'll get this done. I'll think about it. I'll make my decision once we're done. Alright gang, finishing up here. Um, I've made my decision. I do not think it's cheating. I want to make progress in this series, and if we don't allow that, it, it is going to take a long time. A very long time for us to make progress. So, based off of that, I'm going to say it's fine. I'm going to say it's a-okay to utilize a mower as long as it's 
a John Deere based mower, right? I mean, that, that sticks within the, the realm of what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, it's the, the gator certainly cannot mow, so it's something they cannot u do. So I think it's kind of a bit of a loophole that we're going to allow in this series. So hopefully you all agree with me. If you don't, let me know down below. We can certainly pivot and shift um, as need be. You probably also saw that our money went up a little bit. That's because we did have enough pig food. Uh, we had a thousand liters of pig food in the production and it sold when it hit that hour mark. So because of that reason, we have moved up a little bit in our price amount. So uh, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the mowers. Let's see what we want to do. So we've got this mower. We've got the 850 mower, which is probably the one we should get. And we've got a zero turn, $5,000 zero turn. I mean, the 850 seems like the smartest play, but it's only got a one meter working width. This only has, well, it's got 2.4, I guess. So it is a lot more. It's 200% plus, to an almost two, uh, to almost 250% more uh, width over the basic John Deere. This one is a no-brainer. You pick the 56 over that one. It's a no-brainer. Um, they're both nine mile per hour. No-brainer there. No-brainer there whatsoever. You could do this one. It's a lot more money, though. Probably wouldn't be able to buy the plot of land that we're looking at if we did that. This one is a walking mower. But if you're going to buy that, why wouldn't you just buy this one, right? Why wouldn't you buy this? Yes, I know you had to get a header for it. I know. But, I mean, there, there's really no reason to, to do that. So, I guess the question becomes, do we need to get a zero return or should we just buy the 850? I'm leaning towards the 850 as the mower whatever we do we're still going to utilize the the little um loading wagon that we can utilize f um with the the john deere right the forge wagon is what i'm saying loading wagon i keep saying loading wagon you know if if we're going to utilize this if we get the zero turn we'll get the bag because the bag just makes more sense in my opinion why is it so far zoomed in like why why are we so close to this bag <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, a little unrealistic, but I feel like I, I would get this one just to, to save us time. 350 liters. We're going to be unloading that every two seconds. Right? It just doesn't uh, doesn't make sense. So, let's think this through here. So, the smart play is probably getting the smaller one. Um, how big is this plot of land? A quick save here. We should go walk and see, or like, well, we'll just we'll jump over here. Let's go see how big this actual plot of land is we're dealing with here. If it's not very big, then I think the A50 is the way to go. It is not a big plot of land at all. That is a very, very small plot of land. I mean, part of me thinks we just wait and get this forty-two thousand dollar one and just ignore the mo the grass mowing altogether. Um. Hmm. This one is is ideal, but we just we can't we just can't get it. We can't afford that. Fifty nine, fifty two. I mean, that's that's really that's the only way we can afford. I mean, maybe we save and get that one, but I mean, it's far away from our. I land. Hmm. I don't know what to do here, gang. I really don't know what to pick here. This is inexpensive. Nineteen thousand. We're almost there as it is. Well, if we get that, so let's think. Let's think through a little bit more. If we get that, we've got to get some kind of. Which maybe we'll utilize the same one we've been utilizing in, in other playthroughs, specifically the. Four and a horse, the four and a horsepower, the two and a horsepower challenge. I mean, we need we need something like this. We've we've got to have this to make it worth our while. If if we don't have this to put down, it's it's not even worth it. You know what I mean? It's it's not even. We shouldn't even consider it. Hmm.
So it's going to cost us 10000 So we need at least 30, what, $33,000, give or take. Can we get $33,000 with the amount of money that we currently are able to make from sorghum? Two thousand five six one. It's dropping for whatever reason. Why is it dropping? It should be continually going up. I'll tell you what. We're gonna sell a little bit of it, and uh, I think what we're gonna do is it may not be the most logical thing, but we're actually gonna sell one of our uh, John Deere Gator implements. We're gonna sell this, this right here, this skip, as they call it. Uh, it does not hold that much. It really doesn't. So we're going to sell this and make a little bit of money back off of this. And then we'll sell a couple of the trailer loads and just see what we get. I don't want to get rid of all the sorghum. I want to wait as much as I can and get the biggest, best price we can for it. If that makes any sense. Episode 4, we're already selling one of our gator implements. <laughs> Puts us to 14,760. I should have turned the beacon on. Turn it on now. A little late, but... I just don't think we need it. Uh, I mean... We're eventually going to get rid of that, that little trailer we're pulling to and get a bigger trailer. That the, uh the gator can pull but that was kind of the whoa uh oh uh oh eh, we righted ourselves I eventually we'll get something that we can pull with the gator it just it, it, it the one that we currently have it's fine it's like 2500 liters for this one then we just sold only had holds like a thousand if that it's fine. It, it's enough, but it, it just we we need we need more though. We're, once we start doing a little more and have a little more fields, we need we need more. The reason why I'm thinking of getting the small one, we've got all these little grass areas on the edges here, right? It, it's not a lot, but it is something that we can mow and pick up and put in a, a silage creation, right? Uh oh, went too far. So that gets us to enough to buy the plot of land. I say we do it, gang. Let's just do it. Well, we own that plot of land. I'm going to sell one more load, and we're going to see what we get out of that, and we'll decide what we're going to buy from there. Remember, we've got to keep a little bit of money for this. Too far. Back up. We got to keep a little bit of money on hand because we've got the the loan that we have to pay every single time we flip to a new month. Five hundred bucks. Granted, we got the potatoes we can sell, but we can't we can't be in the negative. All right, so we've got eight thousand four hundred forty three dollars to work with. As much as it may not seem like the smartest idea, I'm leaning gang towards the the zero turn here. I really am. Five thousand. Six thousand five hundred fifty. That still gives us plenty of money if we do that. It's going to be faster. Yeah, things will get done quicker. But. Um, we'll get the zero turn, gang. We're going to get the zero turn. I, I mean, I made my mind up. I said it earlier. I said I don't think it's cheating. We're going to stick with that. Hopefully you guys agree. I got to put the weight on it, though, because it's probably going to need it when we put that on there. Put the missions on there. Those missions are sweet. Those are sweet. I love those tires that are, like, open. 
I don't know if I need a hitch or not, but I'm just going to put it on there. In case we need to pull something, we'll do it. 5,400. We'll get the dummy capacity. Stogies is 1493. That's at least three months um, of being able to pay our loan off. This thing is touchy. This is going to take a while to get used to this. I'm not going to lie to you. Alright, so we still have to sell it, though. We've got to get enough to sell. Um, or to turn into silage, should I say. I don't know how much we're going to get out of this field. That's why I haven't bought anything yet. That's why I haven't sold anything else yet. I want to see... Because if we don't fill up this entire thing, we may just go ahead and... Turn on loading wagon. Alright, there we go. So if we don't get enough, I mean if we if we fill if we mow the whole thing and we don't fill up the entire thing, we'll just keep it and hold it in here until this field is ready to harvest again, I guess. So I may just keep this as a grass field. It's not a very big field, but... I mean, you see, uh, if you've watched the 200 horsepower challenge, you see what what that silage can do for you. I mean, especially if we get a methane plant. I'm not saying we will. I don't want to do, like I said, I've said it many times in much of my playthroughs. I don't like doing the same thing over and over again, but... Sometimes you have to, to be able to survive and do what you want in a series. We're definitely going to be full, so that, that ain't going to happen. We're definitely going to be full. We're going to be making a lot of trips here. So I think based off of that, we're going to have to sell some more some more of our crop. That or we just go sell the grass as is, which I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. I don't think it's going to be worth that much. I don't think grass is worth that much by itself without being silage. Unless you have, you know, sheep or something like that, which... I guess we could look at putting sheep down already, but that also doesn't seem like a, the smartest idea this early on, given the challenge. This thing is touchy as hell, I'll tell you that right now. We're going to get a lot of grass out of this, though. A lot of grass out of this. I probably won't mow this whole thing in this episode. We'll probably wait till uh, the following episode because, like I said, we won't have a whole lot to do in the following episode. But we'll at least get a full load of this, and then uh, we'll make our decision on what we're going to do with it. I'll have to look, do some research real quick after we're done. Mower. We'll leave the rest of that to mow the next episode, but we're going to take this back and at least potentially see what we're going to do with it. I 
actually, before we move back, let's let's just look. What is grass selling for right now? Can't be much. One four five. Actually, that's about as high as it's gonna get right now. Oh, nearly. One four five. Where we sent point of selling point of selling stroll. What is that at? Okay, so it's back there. Well, let's just go sell it. Let's just see what we get out of 4,500 liters. It's not going to be a lot, but... No, nah, I don't know. I don't think we do it, actually, the more I think about it. It's just a waste. It's just not It's not worth it. 145 bucks? I mean, we're not even going to get $1,000 out of that. That's not... That's not worth it. We'll take it back to the farm real quick. Cut across the neighbor's land here. Tell you what we're gonna do. Been thinking about it on the way back here. We're just gonna park this back here in the barn. We can mow the rest of that in the following episode. The following episode we should have a little bit of potatoes as well, ready to go. Uh, should get us to probably eh, close to five grand, give or take, once we sell the the pig food as well. That's going to sell overnight. And uh, that way we only have to pay for $5,000 worth. And if we wait till December, our sorghum should be even better. So we should have more we can sell uh, at a higher price. So we'll wait. So we'll leave that episode there, gang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. Helps me a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or ideas, let me know down below. Uh, subscribe to my second channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys wherever the hot air balloons land up.